if you are a new user uh, you usually use the use the entire disk or install side by side or whatever the hell it is but they also have this advanced feature which uh, I don't know if a lot of people use maybe they don't know how to use it but it's actually better for you um, and let me explain why you can separate your OS from your data okay so how is that convenient it is convenient because later down the road if you want to uh, update you know to a, or fresh install or whatever or even if you want to use another distro uh, you're not going to lose your data okay you're just going to lose your OS and all the programs on it but you can get it back you know easily so this is what I use because um, you know when you're updating to a new Ubuntu I like to do it fresh install that's just the way I like it okay and um, even if you have like another distro, like another Linux distro, like Mint or uh, Fedora, or whatever, maybe not Fedora, but uh, Mint, okay, you can actually, you know, use them both, and they both gonna uh, store the data on slash home, which is almost all the Linux distro uses to store their data at, okay, slash home. So that is uh, some of the reasons why. Um, you would want to use the advanced feature. So let's get to it. We have VirtualBox here, right? So this is the advanced. Now in here they have um, your hard drive. So a typical install would have one hard drive. So that's what we're gonna do. Make a new partition table. Now in here I have like a 20 gig, right? 20 GBs as my hard drive. Um, so what you want to do is make a new partition here, and for your primary up here, right? We're gonna make the OS. The OS will probably need like, um, you know, six gigs or up. Um, if you have a bigger hard drive, uh, I would say 20 gigs is on a regular. Linux, um, that's really all you really need. But uh, max would probably be a uh, 50. If, you, if you're gonna use like uh, you know a lot of programs, or you want to use like another uh, desktop environment or something like that, then I would say definitely uh, 50 gigs is a uh, minimum. But ultimately, if you're a normal user, 20 gigs is all you need for an OS. Okay. But since I don't have a big uh, hard drive here, I'm gonna use the minimum, which is probably like uh, 10 gigs. Okay, so I'm gonna put 10. Uh, it's 10,000 uh, megabytes, so that's 10 gigs or something around there, right? And you want to set it to the beginning, okay? The beginning uh, in here is, uh, I believe, uh, the outer side of the plates. That's too much technical for you, but you want the beginning because it's faster, okay? And uh, you can choose your uh, partition let's say uh, ext4 which is the new one okay and you want to mount this as um, let me see slash okay they have some option here the slash is uh, like you know C C drive in Windows so the slash okay and that is the root so you click OK that up right and now we have uh, still have free space because we only use a you know, half our uh, hard drive so what we're gonna do is uh, most most people they want to separate their boot or the grub loader um, also so we're gonna make a new partition and do that too and I would say uh, make it local I guess not primary and all you really need is probably like a 32 megabytes um, and you want that uh, beginning or end doesn't really matter okay and uh, I guess ext4 and we're gonna separate the boot okay and then click OK uh, 
Um, the boot is, uh, you know, where you would select which operating system you want. Like if you have Windows, uh, Ubuntu, Fedora, Mandriva, or whatever the hell it is. Uh, some people like to separate that. Um, I just started using it before I didn't really need to use it, but now I, it feels like it's convenient. Okay. So we still have a uh, free space here. Okay. And um, what we're gonna do now is, I guess, uh, put the partition for uh, your swap. Now, if you don't have a lot of uh, RAM, let's say you have 512, like I put on this virtual machine, then you would double that. Okay, if you have 512, you're gonna have uh, doubling that would be like a, a a gig, right? Yeah, I'll say a gig. Okay, it's 512 times two. Okay. So what we're gonna do is um let me say put uh five twelve times two so that's one twenty four so that's one one gig right and you're gonna go down where it says uh swap area okay and I would say uh, put this at the end okay <laughs> that's where I like to put it at and make sure it says swap area okay there's no partition for it it's just swap area and the swap area is basically like hard drive RAM when you uh, your real RAM runs out and it will use that so it's better to have that than not if you ha don't have you know a lot of RAM to begin with if you have like four gigs then I'll say uh, you know just use maybe one gig or not even use it at all but I'll say one gig or or like half of that so it's two gigs okay so we have that and the rest is basically um, your home folder okay so I put a new partition and the rest you know doesn't doesn't really matter ext4 of course uh, you want to or you want ext3 doesn't really matter but we want to be consistent at ext4 and you can slash home here now don't don't get confused you can write like anything you want here if you, if you want to do that but uh, this is a typical install okay so slash home and slash home is where we're gonna, you know, put our data on. So it's usually gonna be larger than your OS, okay? So in this case, it's not because I don't have, um, well, I didn't put a large hard drive space for this uh, virtual box. So that is uh, probably it for this. And I remember, um, you know, when it comes to partition, I believe that um, the smaller it is, the faster it is. Um, and uh, it's, you know, when you separate it, uh, one partition does not affect the other. So that's basic. Um, some of the things you might want to know about that. And uh, that's probably pretty much it for this uh, basic install. And now, if you have like another hard drive or whatever, it gets a little bit um, complicated to sort it out but uh, it's basically the same principles here you want to separate it you want to you know name it the mount point you know exactly how uh, you would want it uh, when you're using the OS like let's say if you have um, I don't know like another hard drive that you want to use for a data storage so you you're probably gonna name it slash media slash uh, Linux 2 or something so uh, this is just a basic install uh, or a basic partition for a uh, single hard drive okay so that is it uh, hopefully I don't confuse you if you understood everything then great <laughs> so that's all